Teachers who have seen my desk know that what I call organized chaos, they call a mess. But think about all the digital content that you use in your classroom. How do you keep that organized for your kids? In this Ramsey Connected Educator Series Showcase, Dave Prindle from Byron Center High School in Ramsey 7 walks us through how he uses live binders and Daiquiri to organize all the digital content that he uses with his students. As always, we hope this sparks some great ideas for how you could tweak this to work in your own classroom, and enjoy! Hi, my name is David Prindle. I'm a chemistry and forensic science teacher at Byron Center High School. And I'm featuring today live binders and Daiquiri. These are two applications that I use to flip my classes. LiveBinders is a free tool where you can organize all of your content into online binders. You can upload PDFs, embed web pages, YouTube, and other videos, images, Google Docs, forms, and more. You can create your own binder using your own resources that you've created or gathered over the years. LiveBinders is very easy to learn and use. Most people can learn LiveBinders in less than a half hour and then can create and fill a class over the weekend. In the next few sequences, I will demonstrate how to create and fill a live binder. Once you've signed up for an account and logged in, the next thing to do is go over to the left side in the dashboard and start a blank binder. A Create Binder page will come up. At this point, you will name your binder, and I'm going to call this the REMCCT Demo. Um, you can also, at this point, put a description in, tags. You can give it a category for this binder. I'll give it Education. You can keep it, make it public or private. We're going to keep it private for now. If you keep it private, you can give it an access key, and then eventually you can use Google Search to fill it. I've clicked the Create Binder button, and now we have a new binder. They automatically give you three tabs. I'm going to name this first tab Introduction. Next, we're going over to the Edit Menu button, which is on the upper right. You can see there's Binder Properties. At this point, I'm going to give it a description and call it the REMC Connected Educators. And the next spot is a tag, and I'm just going to tag it with REMC. We're going to leave all the rest of the stuff alone, but then I will come over and give it a change our color. And I'm going to pick orange, and I hit update, and it changes the background color. Next, we're going to talk about the cover photo. And at this point, I'm going to go over and in Choose the Insert Media, click Flickr, type in the word School, and it will give me some pictures to choose from. I'm going to choose this one room schoolhouse picture from Canada. It automatically, once you click on it, it automatically inserts it, and then I'm going to go click back to the binder properties and click Update Cover Photo, and it automatically makes it our cover photo. At this point, I'm going to create a new sub-tab, and this is under the Introduction tab. I'm going to name this Adding a YouTube Video. Now we'll go back to the Insert Media menu down at the bottom here. Next, I choose YouTube Videos. I'm going to type in the Hot Zone. You can see off to the left of the box it says Tags. So anything tagged the hot zone or with the word hot in it will pop up. I've already done this before for another binder, so I'm going to choose the second one from the right, and it automatically inserts the author of the hot zone. I'm going to create a new sub-tab, and we're going to search differently this time. And I'm going to rename this one another YouTube video. Go back down, put Prindle TV into the search box, which is my YouTube channel and change the Tags menu to User menu. At that point, it will search for Prindle TV, which is my username. I'll just click on one of my videos. It automatically inserts it. Next, I'm going to add another sub-tab. And in this case, we're going to add a Google Doc. And it can be a regular document or a presentation. In this case, I'm going to add a presentation. Now, I'm going to go to my Google Docs list on my personal account at school here and I'm just going to choose the first presentation I come up to. At this point I go over to the share menu and I shared it publicly already so I have a link. I grab that link, copy it, go back to my binder 
and insert it into the text box up at the top here and choose insert and it will automatically put it into the page. It'll take a second. There it goes. I'm going to create another new sub tab and this tab is going to be used to add a Google form. So now I will rename the sub tab and now go back to my Google form list and search by forms and I will choose my girls track parent information form that I've already created. Once I get to the spreadsheet I will go over to forms and live form, copy the URL and then go back to my live binder and insert it in the text box and choose insert. Next I will create another new sub tab and this one is where we're going to embed a YouTube video and also add a Google form to the right of it. And this is handy when you're having kids flip a class and watch a video and just want a verification that they have watched the video. And so I choose the text and media from the text layout and you can choose whatever side you want it to be on. I inserted the um, URL again in the text box and hit insert. Now I'm renaming the sub tab YT Inform. Next, I'm going to my YouTube channel and grab a YouTube video. I will go down to the Share menu, choose that, choose Embed, and at this point I will grab the embed code. Um, once I've grabbed the U embed code, I will go back to my Live Binder, choose the yellow arrow right there and choose HTML. I will replace the current HTML code with the one I just grabbed from the embed code. Replace it, hit update, and now the video is in and the form is across from it. This is a quick way then we've created and filled a live binder. If you need a subject specific live binder in a hurry you can let Google search and create the material for you. Here I've chosen atomic structure as my topic on the create new binder I've clicked yes where it says use Google search to fill a binder and then use the search term atomic structure. Next choose the create new binder button. Here is the binder that's the result of the Google search. At this point you can add or subtract content as you wish and make it your own or use it as it is. The next application I want to talk to you about is called Daiquiri. It lets you make your resources accessible to students with iPhones and Android devices. To create a Daiquiri, it is a very easy and intuitive process. Begin by signing up for a Daiquiri account at Daiquiri.com. Once you have your account and have signed in, just click on the Create Daiquiri button. Name your Daiquiri. You can add a description now or later. Click the Create Daiquiri. A page with an image of an iPhone will appear. With Daiquiri it is very easy to add content. Just click the Add Content button then choose the type of content you want to add from the menu seen here on the right. Once you've added all your content you can then share the Daiquiri via Facebook, Twitter, or by posting a QR code. When users download the Daiquiri app from the Apple App Store or the Android Marketplace they can just scan the code you created and the page will show up on their phone. The code only needs to be scanned once because it will be stored in their history. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to Live Binders and Daiquiri. If you want more information or have questions, please contact me in any of the ways shown here. We hope this Rumsey Connected Educator Series showcase on how to organize digital content with Live Binders and Daiquiri gave you some ideas for how you could use this in your own classroom. For the entire library of Connected Educator Series showcases, visit us at our project page on remc.org forward slash connected educator. And we'll see you back here soon.